Hello everyone, this is Keith Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So today is the start of a new season, Ether Raids, it's light season, and we got a meme, so I'm using the suboptimal team this week. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Um so if you don't know, if I replace this air with like my bonus unit legendary Ike, then I would have plus 10 more lift on my team. But I don't care for that because we're trying to troll. Uh, unfortunately, uh, during the latest update, this became a thing. So if people have already had the stones like I did to upgrade Panic Manor level 5, then we can't troll them, but anyone with level 4 Panic Manor will definitely feel the wrath of Nino, Kappa. <laughs> Alright, this team looks pretty threatening already from first glance. Ophelia is a whatever, it's mostly Lona. Oh man, that's actually pretty good. An actually decently fast Lona, what is this? I don't see that very often. So that's cool. Yeah, you can already see <laughs> people are already having their panic manners up. So I don't know if I want to quote unquote try hard or just fool around see what I can do with this team. But I know for sure we have to get rid of Lilino, so it's more of a question of how. Because we would have to be able to do some ridiculous things. Um, for one, there's Dark Shrine in the corner, so I think taking that out is out of the question. We know Tabarn's going to transform. And... I don't think he'll rally because he's an eligible unit to do some damage to Nino. But this week I cannot creep chill res on Nino any day of the week because she has way too much res now, Kappa, with double light blessings. So I think the plan is just pick up the ether structures, um, smite Nino into the this heavy trap here, take out Lona and call it a day, because that's all I got. Um, since Ophelia will only get 61 attack, so she's guaranteed to do zero damage to Nino. <laughs> uh, it's not a problem to us at all. So we can do this really quick, honestly. Okay. Don't have to try too hard here. Uh, I think we need to have Azura, well, it's a little late now, but let's do this. Let's flip Kaden over to get the buffs. So as you can see, they're just buffing everyone. Uh, so this Lona is going to hurt a lot. Um, that's my main concern, because we I don't think we can one-shot that. We'll go ahead and just quickly do some basic calculations. I don't think we can one-shot this. So with 94 attack, which is the max we can get, that would be, like... I'm so bad at doing math while brain dead. <laughs> um, 76 attack, so yeah, we are short, for sure. So it doesn't matter. We just have to actually live the actual hit. Um... So right now, I think we just have to set up our smite properly. Nothing too special here. Let's get Azura here. Get our smite bot over here. The only problem with this week is... Uh, there's panic ploy on minion. Not that it matters now. Oh wait, bolt trap activated. Perfect, Kappa. Um... I forgot I had Bolt Tower, not Bolt Trap. <laughs> yes. Alright, well we smite her in. It was obviously real, I didn't even need to like try that hard to figure that out. Um, but we'll just take out Lona, one shot, easy. As you can see, we had no chance of one shotting her if we didn't have that chip damage. And now we're about to get memes because he's gonna actually rally and dance. Get dance to kill Azura, Kappa. <laughs> That's gonna totally happen. The glimmer of life. Yes. Um, 
The thing here of Lilina, I mean Ophelia, is she cannot rally Minion, she has to rally Azura. So we're perfectly fine leaving Azura here. Um, the, of course the obvious concern is if for some reason this guy goes to rally someone and then gets danced. So we're just gonna move Azura out of the way anyways. If he rallies, that would be so funny. Ophelia is so scared to attack, she burns off two dancers. <laughs> uh, great, great stuff. And he, we're in vantage range because 56 HP has vantage range. <laughs> 42 and 42 and below, so it's ridiculously um, powerful. That's all I have to say. We're just gonna meme buff Kaden, because why not? A lot of these early matches shouldn't be too difficult. I want to see how she fares against the definitely harder teams, because... I don't know, 56 HP. <laughs> can do a lot of things, uh, for sure. Alright, we have the person that spams legendary Zeros. I think you all see what I see, right? You can just literally pick up a kill on Veronica. And then you get the double Azura murdered. <laughs> is this is, is this serious? I, I don't know what to think about this, but uh, okay. We'll go. We'll just set up. No, no real rush here. We don't have to be very perfect on our setup either. Just kind of do whatever we want for the most part. I think I am just gonna go rush picking up the ether structures real quick because we have the time, so I might as well. Okay. We'll break that because if we're being perfectly honest, what is preventing us from just taking out Veronica and leaving? Bye, have a nice day, kind of deal. If you know what I mean. So we're just gonna be super aggressive here and prep Nino here. Also, the thing with having double airs is that they can actually heal each other with sparkling boost, which is nice, I guess. Uh, nothing too relevant though. It's like we're just gonna smite Kate into downtown over here because we feel like it. And take out Veronica. You have zero rallies or anything. How the heck is this not supposed to work? That's my question. <laughs> like, I know then Roy and company are coming to town, but still, like, what? <laughs> I don't know about you, but yeah, this isn't going too well for them. And classic, nothing too special. Roy is getting panic flood, so his buffs are absolutely 10 out of 10 fantastic. And we're just gonna leave air back there to end turn. And it should be a pretty easy cleanup win. Nothing too special, we had all the turns to burn, so... Nothing too special there. Ice Mirror not gonna save the arm, and well... I'll be right back because allergies are giving me a runny nose. <laughs> oh boy. Like at this point, Nino's almost gone to the point where she can almost bait anything. I wish she could bait anything, but okay, this person still has level 3 pain. Uh, that bright shrine in the corner is a huge pain. Okay, my first obvious question. Why would I not just bait Veronica? <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, because think about it. What's the worst that could happen? Erica moves somewhere here, doesn't matter where. She gets dance, and gets attacked. So what? <laughs> she only- well, there's chill speed, of course. So there's, I guess there's that, but... If we're being perfectly honest here, um, the only real threat is Lilina. I guess the threat is Wings of Mercy from Lilina, because we do have hit get hit by Bright Shrine as well. So I guess we should actually think about that real quick if we're going to be trying a little bit. 
So for our max speed buffs, we hit 62, which is only 55 after chill speed, so we are not killing that Erica, so we shouldn't do that play. <laughs> hmm. I'd really like to just face tank that Glimmer from Luna, but we're not about to do that any day of the week. So yeah, Wings of Mercy is the main problem, and of course we won't be able to one-shot by any means for sure. There was absolute. I I see no way that's gonna happen, but let, let's think about it. So, we get the attack from Veronica. Excuse me. Take zero damage. No big deal. And then we get that dance play. It really, it really, does, unless they set it up awkwardly, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. So, we're gonna assume she gets danced, and we have actually double wings of mercy, which is not great for us, but we do have vantage. We just have to be careful about our. Fellow allies here, um, not getting murdered in 10 seconds. I like Wings of Mercy. So. I'm thinking something like. The. I don't know. There's no. There's not really a good way about doing this. Actually, we can just do that smite play. That would, that would work perfectly fine. Although, no, 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 that would be in range of Lona. So I think our key is to place Caden exactly behind Nino. That seems like the play right now. <coughs> Alright, anyways, let's see how this would fare. So she would have... They don't have Dark Shrine up. And they don't appear to have any debuffs aside from Veronica. So we're going to assume we're going to have 38 defense then. Versus her 60. Right? 38 versus 60. There's no rallies either. Um, 38 versus 60. Oh wait, I, I just need to be checking if I can actually one shot. No, she has hardy bearing. That's not an option. <laughs> Okay, so we have to do something else. Um, the obvious play is just going in. Um, can't really take out Erica per se. But we just need to get the attack on her, I think. And we should be okay. Because her bulk is not that high. So we have to do some weird plays here. Um, because we, if we allow her to live... We might have some problems with buffing, so uh, we have to be careful with that. <sighs> hmm. And I'm trying to meme by not using activating the, this trap here, but I might have to. Of course, I can place Nino here and smite her in like that. So th I guess we're gonna try that out. Uh, let's see. Okay, smite bots there. I think this should work out, but we'll see what happens. Do my best. The glimmer of light, I see. Yes. Uh, as for Caden's position, ugh. problem is Lona is gonna get that glimmer off. So, okay, there's 65 res going around here. So 65 res bulk means for sure Nino can pick up the one shot by herself. She doesn't need Caden after bolt tower at least. Okay, so we have time to migrate Caden into town, I guess. Uh, I'd want defense on Caden, but I have it set up kind of wrong, so... Not an option. Or we could just forego attack. That's perfectly fine. I don't really see much reason why I should care about attack. Actually, let's just... Um... Yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. No, we can't do that because we're smiting. 
Uh, turn three is incoming, so I had to make the final decision here, and it's taking me forever because I have not quote unquote try harded in a while. I'm not even actually try harding. <laughs> it's just this is the second thing that came to mind after figuring out that this doesn't work. Um, it's just that bright shrine is probably gonna murder me. That's my only guess here. Because neither of us can... Actually, Nino can double her straight up. Yeah, there's no drive speed. There's some drive attacks and stuff, though, so that's nasty. Um... Alright, well, we're just going to have Caden... Uh... I guess out here. I guess it doesn't really matter because I can't get a reposition on him. I can help. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna... It's turn three. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's turn three. Oh wait, I made a critical error. I assumed I was gonna get Dance to attack uh, Erica. I'm not going to. But we still pick up the kill anyways, so that's something. Oh, we can't even get Caden in range to buff. <laughs> ah, man, I'm great at this game. Kappa. Alright, that's a free kill. Free kills. And because they have Veronica here, we have a free time to sit around and basically do nothing. Uh, we're just gonna carry over our buddies over here. Get that res buff on Azura. Bolt Tower's gonna hit Caden. I don't think it's gonna matter. So it should just be free kills here, if I've ever seen one, uh, because of how their, their defense is set up. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Then we can have Nino just casually uh, take out Sylvia. And air, I mean, the airs are fine. There's nothing they can really. Go wrong, Kappa. Yes. Smiting our air. It's perfectly fine. Do that. And we'll give air a kill for some SP. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Kind of a long time to do that match, but kind of whatever again. We're kind of trying, but not really, because these defenses are not amazing. Like this one, for example. It's decent. Uh, big problem, obviously, being there's absolutely no rallies or anything of the sort here. So we could just do some play, for example, where we just go ham on their defense. We just place a unit like right here and call it a day, pretty much. Um, of course, that problem, the problem with that would, of course, be that Nina would be buffed. She would have like 67 attack or something. Um, but I mean, other than that, we don't care about their panic manner or whatever. So I think approaching maybe from this side straight up might even just be better. Is if we could just uh, double kill here. Although double killing on Makai is a little suspicious. Um, Ike should get us into vantage range, I think. That's actually pretty far into vantage range, but we'll make it work. So I don't really care too much about breaking these, because once we place a unit here, this Azura is not going to be dancing. Uh, she could use aerobatics though and screw us over on ether, but I don't care too much. I'm not thinking about that. Yes. So we're going to break some stuff yes. turn one. I'm pretty sure they would make this... Uh, Heavy trap or whatever below the yes. below the uh, Ethan Amphrey reel. I'm gonna assume it's real. It's not real. Okay. It's it's mostly just a choice. It's not mandatory by any means for you to do stuff like that. So it's not a big deal. I uh, will need Kaden in there for buffs. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, we can just wait till turn 3. That's an option. 
So now that's turn three, we can just pick up the kill, free vantage range. Uh, we should be able to pick up the kill in Luna and see how what how how this goes from here. Uh, we can just smite him up here for unnecessary speed buffs. Oh wait, one miscalculation was that we uh, panic manner now works. I was at. I don't know why I always forget that for some reason. It's something I forget a lot. So, um, we're gonna have to break the panic manner. So it's basically, we don't care too much anyways, because if you look at this, she's getting debuffed from attack tactic. And at best she'll have 49 attack, which is 58 against Nino. And as you can see, we're gonna have a decent amount of res, aka not enough for her to do anything anyways. So we should be fine just breaking this here. Calling it a day, we can just break this I guess, because if we feel like it. I think everything should go fine, yeah she just does zero straight up. So, we'll get the uh, dance from no one because She's melee with an assist, and you know also has an assist. So, well, that's a rip. Now we're gonna do this, I guess. Not the most efficient solution, but we'll smite her up for the memes, I guess. I don't know. We have all day to pick up the ether structures, so I'm not too concerned. I'll pick up a kill again with this air. For the SP, of course. And there we go, that wasn't too bad. So what happens when, during light season. Units get a lot more res. And it's super hard to deal with them. Uh, this team looks pretty threatening as well. The Unes especially are going to be annoying. Uh, this Alm is ridiculously fast. Panic Veronica as well. Very solid team. Of course, it's it's not without its weaknesses. For one, you can just walk over here, take out two of their units. Of course, there's Sky Mayuki Moonbow to deal with, um, so that's an issue. One thing we could do is attack here, dance, take out Veronica. Now they're all heavily debuffed, so um, I think it's mostly a concern about not getting doubled by Alm, but we also have 4 advantage, so that's something. 51... The other problem is that because we're going to be so far in their defense, um, we're going to have some problems with, uh, whatchamacallit, getting buffs. For Nino, I, don't, I think it's impossible for her to get buffs. So we're basically banking that she can actually hang in there, kind of a deal. Of course, we hit the attack smoke and all, so I think we just need to grab the ether structures early on. So that's what we'll do here. I think we're gonna have Nino grab the ether structure, right? So we do something like. This, I think, and that's fine. Do this. I know I'm going to screw up one of the air, use the wrong air for one of these, and get myself screwed over so hard. <laughs> it's gonna happen, man. All right, so now we just do this, and then take our time getting the heck out of there. Get our smite bot ready. In position. Azura has to be over here. Sure thing. Do my best. Choose your path. Lovely. I don't know how we're gonna do that yet. Yes. I can help. I guess we can do this. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Not really. Um Veronica building up charges for nothing. So I don't care too much about that. He has instant lunar flash. 
This is probably a dead Nino, <laughs> if I were, but it is entirely possible for her to live. Like, it's not out of the picture at all by any means. So, we'll give it a go. We'll see how Nino does. I think the main issue is we're so debuffed, we won't be able to uh, one shot. So, he's got, he has 84. So, I guess that's the problem. For being honest here, uh, all right, let's think about this. If we do that, uh, Zera is dead, yes, so we kind of just have to do this. Do oh, when we don't double either, so that's not great. The of life. Okay. Hmm. So we might just have to long bait then. That might have to. Well, if we long bait, we're dead to all them. Alright. It's actually kind of a challenge now. Because it is turn 5, so... Um... Yes? Sure thing. But yeah, for example, if we do long bait... Um, then Alm simply just goes like here, for example, and gets danced, and his range is way too large. So... Hmm. What do we do now? <laughs> do my best. We really can't afford to do that. Um... Caden giving Nino plus 9 speed, give her 53, so that would allow her to double. Death's but we will drop units left and right if we do that. Yes. I don't think we have much of a choice, so we'll do it. Yeah, we are gonna drop units sure left and right if we do that. Yes. Lovely. There's one thing I'm thinking of right now, and it's flipping Nino up. I mean Azura up to hit that. That's gonna change like nothing. Sure it's fine, we'll do it. It's probably a bad idea. No, nope, it's not real. There's that, I guess. So, like here, if we pick up the kill on Veronica, the problem is that we just die. Uh, we're gonna get panicked. And that's just gonna be bad for us. And we have no way of getting uh, Azura out of there, so, you know, I'm just going to pick up free kills. So I guess I'm trying to see here if we can actually just survive somehow, miraculously. Our speed is not going to get debuffed. That is the one thing we have going for us. But we will not be able to one-shot home, so that's not going to end well. I'm thinking about just taking out Ryoma, but then we're probably just going to drop Nino hardcore. Is they're going to actually have some attack? Eh, I think it I think it's our best option here because we are definitely guaranteed dropping two units if we dance Nino to kill Veronica. So we're going to we're going to go with this play. It's not the greatest play. It's basically the only thing we got. You can see with Nino buffed, we can definitely one-shot, but... If I were to say which one is real, I would probably say this one, in my opinion, but... 
that's just from my experience. But like, it wouldn't help us much, even if this was really because the panic manor's there. So we're just gonna drop Azura here. Not much we can do. We might drop two units. We'll see. Cause there's the panic buffs. You know, doing no damage. We're living, but we're not gonna be living for long. <laughs> And pick up that kill. It's okay. mostly a question about how we kill Alm here. We're probably yes. dropping two units, honestly. Um, because I know we kind of have to get rid of Veronica. Actually, we don't necessarily have to. Yes. She's doing zero damage, and we're not getting buffed at all. So actually, okay. we don't need to. Um, the problem is we can't pick up any other kills. <laughs> Here, uh, Death's caress. The glimmer of light. Sure thing. or maybe we can. Do we can just do this, but then Nino's gonna, <laughs> gonna get absolutely destroyed. She only has 55 res. This is our 60. Yep, yeah. we'll give it a go for the memes. Okay, we'll heal a tiny bit. And we'll do something like this. I don't know. We're gonna get timed out on turns, aren't we? That's probably what's actually gonna happen here. Yeah, we're gonna get timed out on turns straight up. We pick up that kill. Question is how we pick up two more kills. Well, we got the smite play, so there's that. And pick up that kill. So yeah, not the cleanest set of kills, but we made it work. Ah, not the greatest match, but that's me in a nutshell. That team was pretty decent though. It won't beat the best, best teams out there, but it'll certainly screw over teams like mine. This team looks pretty threatening as well. Um... Special of Kagura's dart. We can double. That's the biggest thing about Kagura's dart that's kind of weak. Um, is that pretty much. The Sothis, we might have to engage early. Um, we might just have to engage this whole team really early. And I don't particularly like that idea. Hmm. Because then there's no real good way to approach. But of course you can see their max attack range is very low. So we can just go ahead and like ping Noe from downtown and leave. So I think we're gonna go for that approach. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for that approach. And to do, use the smite air. Break tactics room, so we can prep that really early. Uh, break that because we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Can do that. Doesn't quite matter what we do right now at the moment. So we can do this. Do my best. Yep. So at the moment they're really buffing up her speed. So, we're gonna have to do something about that. Now think about a weird combo play yes, like this, where we reposition Cadence, smite up, and do things. We'll give it a try. <laughs> uh, okay. We're just wasting turns at this point. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
Or right, we could just do this. I don't mind doing this play. Because I don't really care too much about what happens here. <laughs> Alright. Well, time to get everyone panic floyd real quick. Kagura doesn't have hardy bearing, so that's just a free kill. And now we remove the double drive speeds and stuff. So there's that going for us. Yes. Now at this point, uh, so this is the main problem, but you, you can see not really much of a problem at all. You can just smite him up. Give those buffs. And not too difficult of a match again. Nothing too special here. Just me fiddling around with stuff. Because I don't actually, when I look at the unit skills, I'm just looking for specific things that might counter vantage. I don't actually look at debuffs too much, or buffs in general. So in that respect, I do goof quite frequently in that department. But, you know, not too bad. We did get a minus 80 off the bat. Spoilers, I guess, but nothing too special. I didn't really see too much 56 HP Nino did better than 51 HP except having more res So some of those matchups were absolutely trivial because we just took zeros easy Because for reference uh, If I can show my team here Is Nino with 44 res um, buffed to max at brazen range is like 63 res so after chill res she has 56 res which means that a 70 attack ophelia does zero damage after an aoe special <laughs> so that's pretty nice for sure but um just in general having more res and ether raids is always nice because mages are running around lilanas are running around so Makaya's. I haven't seen the legendary 70 plus attack festival Makaya again ever since I saw it a couple times. But I'm sure that'll show up and I'll get wrecked out the window because I can't deal with that many hardy bearing threats. But, anyways, enough ranting. That's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is East Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!